All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Excuse me, something's in my throat. Something's in my throat. If you guys remember, we left off here in Vermilion City. We finally made our way to Kanto, and we're getting ready to challenge the leader of the Kanto, I'm sorry, the Vermilion City gym. Uh, but first, we got to take a look at the team. Team changed up. I made sure everybody was at an appropriate level. We're not going to use Whirlpool here, Perry. Okay. So we have Perry, the Brave Empoleon, with Whirlpool, Drill Pack, Surf, and Metal Claw. I figured Drill Pack was a very good move for it to have. What did they have before? What did they have before? I don't remember. I don't remember. It's been, it's been a few days. Next up, we have Dawn, the Modest Haruyama. She still knows Smelling Salt, Force Palm, Waterfall, and Close Combat. Then we have Smells, Stop Farting. Stop farting. We have Smells, the Hardy Skun Tank. Oops. Uh, he still knows Toxic Flamethrower, Night Slash, and Slash. Then we have Scavenger, the Modest Raticate. She has Fly, Crunch, Super Fang, and Mud Shot. It's still hilarious that it has, that she, uh, that Scav has Fly. He has Fly. And we have Victoria, the Jolly Venusaur. She knows Strength, Growth, Solar Beam and Razor Leaf. Solar Beam is gonna be, gonna be my favorite move to use. I can I can see it. I can see it now. In introducing Pride the Mild Flygon, the trap inch that we mo very recently caught. Very recently caught. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. The one that we very recently caught, I trained it all the way up to level 52 so it could be up with the rest of the team. It's a ground type, so it helps cover a lot of our bases that we're that we don't have covered. Pride has levitated the ability, so it's also immune to ground type attacks. Uh, Pride knows Crunch, Dragon Breath, Dragon Claw, and Sandstorm. It's gonna be fun to have Pride on the team, ladies and gentlemen. That's our team. That's our team, and that's actually who we're gonna take in to go fight in the Vermilion City Gym. So that's exactly where we're headed right now. Uh, I guess it's a good thing. That I started that document with all the catches that I made because I don't remember what all encounters we've had and what catches we made. So I need to get to editing these videos. I haven't I, actually I haven't edited anything between uh, when we picked it back up, when we picked up the Soul Silver Nuzlocke once again, to now. So after this, I'm definitely going to spend the rest of the day editing. It's pretty early in the afternoon, so we don't have to. We don't have to worry about time. I got to all the time in the world. Once again, they have these puzzles active. This is the worst puzzle in the entire game. I've never, I've never in my life liked this puzzle because it, it can 100%. Like if you're doing a speed run of this game, this puzzle can slow down your progress entirely. It's up to luck. Okay. So the puzzle is that there are these electric barriers preventing you from going to see the gym leader. To, saw, to turn them off, you have to activate switches. Now, the switches are hidden in these trash cans, but it's not as simple as looking all 15 of them and press the right switch. Or, and press the two switches hidden inside the two trash cans. One switch can be random, so it's any one of these 15. And then the other switch is one that's adjacent to the first one that you found. You have to find it immediately after, or the first one resweat, resets. Now, let's say, let's say it's this one. Let's say, actually, let's use, the, for illustration purposes, let's use this switch, the fourth switch in the top row. Say the first switch is here. That would mean that the second switch is either in this square, this square, or the, the let's see, the trash can that's below the one that's below me. Okay? So then let's say I guess it's in this one and it's not in this one. That means the first switch reactivates... But the first switch does have to be here. It could be any one of the 15 over again. This is the least fun puzzle in the entire game. I, I hate this puzzle. So there's nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And then there's no hints as to where it is. It can literally just be any of them. There's, there's absolutely no way to divulge information on where it could be. Uh, let's see. Nothing there. Watch, well, they're going to put it in the middle. I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to fight somebody to get to it. Let's see. Nothing there. Okay, so we found this switch, right? So we we checked all the outer we checked all the outer trash cans. 
So we found that switch there. Okay, so the first fence is unlocked. The first fence is unlocked. Now, logically, logically, that would tell us that this one is it. But that's not how this works. See? See? So this one should have been the second one because we checked the other two. But it doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you that the other two could be it. So the first fence is back up, and now we have to do this over. Literally, there's nothing in this in any Pokemon game I hate more than this puzzle. Any of them. It like literally any of them. I complain about a lot of stuff in video games. A lot of stuff in Pokemon on its own. But this is the puzzle. This is the bit that I hate the most. Okay, so it's in this one. The first fence is down. So then there's a possible it's possible between three different trash cans. This one, this one, and the one above this one. Nope, guess what? Gotta do it over. We gotta do it over, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys wanted a long episode, good chance you just got it. There's a good chance you just got a long episode. Let's try it again. Let us try it again. And we'll go down here. Okay, so there's a switch here. That's number one. Let's find number two. Oh, we got it. We got both fences. Oh, thank you. Thank heavens, we don't have to fight a single one of these trainers here. Okay, so we broke down both fences by finding the hidden switch. We did it in three tries, actually. That's not bad. I've, I've sat through worse. So now we can fight the gym leader. This is Lieutenant Surge. I don't know if you guys know about this man, but he is a he's a he's a vet. He's a veteran. He served in the army. He served in in the war. And uh, he's he's pretty he's pretty dope. Uh. Like I said in an earlier episode, we're fighting against the Kanto leaders now. They are not the exact same leaders that you fight in, uh, and we, that we fought in Fire Red. Some of them have changed, and then everyone's team has improved greatly. Uh, of course it has. It's been three years. So I need to make sure everybody's ready to go, because this is, this is going to be a big deal here, just so everybody knows. Hey, you little tyke. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric-type Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I do all my enemies in battle. All right, here it goes. We're fighting up against Lieutenant Surge of the Vermilion City Gym. He's going to give us badge number nine, hopefully. Come on, Surge. He's got a Rampardos. Oh, Lord have mercy. We're on par with levels. He's got Mold Breaker. Uh, Mold Breaker. I forget what Mold Breaker does, to be honest. We're going to catch it with... Rampardos is rock. I don't think he's rock and dragon. I know he's a fossil, so he's rock. Uh, I I don't think it's dragon. I don't think the other type is dragon. So it doesn't matter. We're going to hit it with Surf. Come on. Come on, Perry. Come on, Perry. Good work, big dog. Good work, Perry. I'm proud of you. Proud of you. Come on. Raichu. He still has a Raichu? That's crazy. He's supposed to be randomized, and this man still has a Raichu. All right. Oh, he's electric type, in case you guys didn't pick that up. He deals with electric type Pokemon. Come on. All right. Raichu's electric. Pride is ground type, so he's not going to be hurt by Raichu's electric attacks. That's predominantly what Raichu can learn, I believe, in, in this gen, at least. So we're going to use a Sandstorm. Sandstorm works just like Hail did, if you guys remember, or Snow Warning, if you guys remember from a few episodes ago. Sandstorm deals damage to all Pokemon that aren't Ground-type, Rock-type, or Steel-type. Uh, and it lasts for five turns. Uh, let's go Dragon Claw. If we can get rid of Raichu, we get a Raichu, we could deal some damage, weather, some weather damage to... Uh, whoever's up next. Good work. Good work, Pride. Pride is out here doing the damn thing. First battle. First battle on screen, and Pride is killing it. Come on. Come on. Empoleon. We have an Empoleon. That's pretty dope. Here's a Victoria. Come on, Victoria. This is your time to shine. That means we should be pretty familiar with Empoleon's moveset. We know that we don't have much to worry about, not because Empoleon is weak, but because it's weak against Victoria. 
Uh, here's a. We're gonna beam it up. Let's beam it up already. Come on. Drill pack. Should have seen it coming. Come on. Come on. Come on. Victoria. All right. Oh. Come on. You need to kill this. Oh wait. Does sandstorm affect the strength of solar beam? Solar beam works different based on the weather. Its power changes and whether or not it needs to recharge changes. Oh hell no. Did I just kill Victoria? Did I just kill Victoria? Oh my god. Why y'all, why am I the worst at this game? Why am I so bad at this game? Why am I so bad at Pokemon? All right, Scavenger. Scav should be able to handle the weather as well as Empoleon. Super Fang. I want to Super Fang it up, to be honest. I want to Super Fang it all the way up. We're going Dawn. I'm stupid. I'm the worst at this game, guys. I'm the worst at this game. I'm sad. I'm legitimately sad right now. Oh, shit. Come on, Dawn. Paralyze it. At the very least, paralyze it, Dawn. Thank you. Oh, my God. Why am I so bad at Pokemon, guys? Like, put that in the comments below. I want you guys to answer that question in the comment section below for me, all right? Why am I, why am I so bad at Pokemon? That's like the third time. That has to be like the third time that I messed up horribly. Horribly for our team. It didn't even do nothing. Oh, because it's normal type. Oh, um. <sighs> All right. All right. We need to paralyze it again. Come on, Don. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. I lost Victoria. I, I got eager. I got eager about Solar Beam. That's, that's the problem. I saw Solar Beam, but I said, yes, this is our time. I didn't do the math. I didn't do the math, and that's, that's what... That's gonna cost us. He's withdrawing Apoleon for Gengar. Gengar's a ghost. Ghosts are not affected by fighting type attacks. Y'all, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have tried to play Pokemon today. Maybe I should have just took the day off like I was supposed to. We're going into smells. We're going into smells. Maybe I should have just took the day off. That's what I'm gonna do. Next time I have a day off. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that day off. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play Pokemon. Shadow Ball? None. Nothing doing. Here's a night slash though. Come on. Come on. Good work. Come on. Alright. Alright, good work, Smells. Good work. Where we at? Where we at? The mist wore off. And Polion's coming back. It should be paralyzed, right? I think it's paralyzed. We can send Dawn out. I think we paralyzed it, didn't we? A second time? Yeah, it's paralyzed. Alright. Here's a force palm. I'm the worst. I want to apologize. I apologize to anybody that was a fan of Victoria. I I didn't think I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh, Gallade. Well, we are done, aren't we? Gallade is fighting and psychic. We literally have nobody with an advantage. The best advantage we have is is Scavenger going out, fighting and psychic. Maybe Pride. Maybe Pride. Lord have mercy, I'm bad at this game. Come on. Alright, Gallade. Uh, it's not over, it's just the beginning. Alright, alright, if you say so. Here's a crunch. Hold this crunch for me. Alright, that's, that's a lot. Psycho cut. Come on. Hold it. There we go. Here's another. There's another. Yep, he's gonna heal though. He's gonna heal him. Smartest thing you can do is heal. Oh, last one. Never give up. 
Yeah. There it is. There's the heal. I told you. I told you first, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, we're gonna heal. I'm not even. I'm not even playing with you guys anymore. We're gonna heal. Come on. All right. Come on, you can hold it. You can hold it. It might be Galad instead of G Galade. It, it's its name is because only male Curlia evolve into Galade, just like only female Snorunt can evolve into Frostlass. Then the name might be reflecting that. All right, finish it off, or not. This man's gonna keep full restoring. This man's gonna keep full restoring, and I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Uh, here's the moo moo milk. We're gonna moo moo milk it up today, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. Psycho cut. All right. How many move? How many times can he use Psycho Cut? He should. I think Psycho Cut is ten. This is a pretty good move, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we should kill on the next one. All right, here it is. Good work, good work, team. I'm proud of everybody and their contributions today. I'm so sorry that we lost yet another member. Eventually, I'm gonna be good at this game. Eventually, I'm going to be good at Pokemon, you know? My electric trick! Ah! You are strong! Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge! We got the Thunder Badge. Just like in Johto, they give out badges here in Kanto. So, we got to get eight of them. The Thunder Badge suits those who defeated me! You take good care of it, okay? There's something else. Here's a great TM for you. TM34. If this is trash, I'm going to be upset. I'm gonna be upset. That TM contains Shockwave. Zap! Use it to go like lightning. When you go north, you'll see a big city called Saffron. Alright, cool. Alright, what does TM34 do? Mega Punch. We already had one Mega Punch, and this is another. I just love. <laughs> I just love when we get the same, same TM twice that we're already not planning on using. All right, guys. Here's a phone call from mom. No. All right. Okay. So once again, we've lost a member of the team. Uh, we're gonna have to replace that member with somebody. Actually, we have a large selection this time. We have a large selection of Pokemon to choose from. It has been a while since we really had to replace somebody. We've had to replace somebody. We, I know we already caught something of a million, so I'm not even gonna, not even gonna pretend. I have a I think we did, didn't we? Whatever. Either way, we lost it. Here we go. Can I get out the water, please? We caught Drowsy. Okay, I remember. Yeah, we caught Drowsy because that, that's what we ran into there. All right. So of course we're gonna heal up. We're gonna put Victoria in the box, and then we're gonna. We're, actually, we're not gonna call it just yet. I kind of want to do a little bit of explorizing. I want to do a little bit of exploring. We'll figure out who we're going to put on the team. I'll level them up. And then we're going to do a little bit of explore. Actually, I'm going to figure that out on my own. <laughs> I'm going to figure that out on my own. Uh, I'm so sorry, Victoria, once again. You, you have done this team wonders. And I appreciate it. Let's see. We have, we have these to choose from. And we also have uh, Snover here. Frost King, I should say. Okay, guys, who do you think is coming in? I want you guys to let me know who you think is coming onto the team. Honestly, I just have no idea who I should pick. Uh, but we're gonna be running around with just just these clowns for a hot sec. All right. I want to do, like I said, I want to do a little bit of exploring. Want to do a little bit of exploring. Uh, I want to actually go to another city. What's his name? LT Surge mentioned. Oh, I did again. That's something I used to do when I was a kid. I used to call it LT Surge. Because I didn't realize that was a title. This title is Lieutenant. 
Uh, wasn't there a man blocking this here? Because there was a man. Yeah, there was a man. It was something about the power plant. Okay, it's all right, because that's not where we're going anyways. We're going to head north into Saffron, and then we're actually going to head east from there. Uh, what was I saying? As a kid, I used to call him LT Surge because I didn't realize that was a title, Lieutenant. Uh, I was I was I was a kid when this came out, so or not this, but fire uh, red and red and blue. So you know, I just I just pulled it. Have you ever been to Lavender Town? There's a tall radio tower there. That's actually what I wanted to go see. I wanted to head to Lavender Town so I could visit. Ooh, there's bikers. So I could visit the radio tower there. They've erected a radio tower there, much like they have in a uh, good old. Please don't turn around. Don't turn around. All right. Just like they have in good old... Oh, great. In Goldenrod City. Do I look weak? Don't make me laugh. When I'm with Lulu, I've got a hundred times more courage. Mo and I make a great pair. You should prepare yourself. Listen, if we lose someone else this episode, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go take a nap. I clearly wasn't supposed to wake up today. Never mind. I, I, I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> We're fighting a Burmy and a Metapod. Well, here's a drill peck for the Metapod. Actually, let's, let's switch that around. Here's a drill peck for Burmy because it has grass type. Here's a force palm for Metapod. Yeah, yo. That thing should die. That thing should die. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. What else we got? What else we got, team? Horse bomb? That thing is definitely dead. I don't want to hear any 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 other which way about. It. How strong is this Metapod? How strong is this man's Metapod? Give it again. Give it again. Mm, give him the business. All right. There we go. He is, he is done, -zo. Wow! All right, let's get. Why they really look like that? That's what they. That's what they look like. That's weird looking. I've never seen those before. Uh, this man's gonna want to fight. I know it. Yep. A. Hey. I am but a gentleman stopped on the road. Would you care to join me in a quick contest? All right, here we go. About to deliver the finest of work to this man, gentleman Milton, and his artist. This game is still doing this. It's giving me, it's giving me the light work here, and then, then we go and meet, we go and meet champions and stuff, and they got legendaries from outer space. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. No, that was quick work. Sorry, sorry, you had to waste your time, Perry. You were very skillful. Uh, if if it were up to me, Perry, you wouldn't have wasted your time there. Stopping in the road for a battle isn't rude. No matter what, I am a gentleman first. If you say so, good sir. Hey, there's a there's a this. There's a an apricorn tree. Hey, we got yellow apricorn. We actually need to be making those trips daily. We need to make those trips back to good old Kurt daily. I'm sure he's got some pokeballs waiting for us. All right, we're in Lavender Town. Overall in the entire series, I believe Lavender Town's theme is my favorite theme of all. Um, I've got so many remixes of Lavender Town theme on my computer. It's actually really, really creepy. Uh, let's heal so that they recognize that we've been here. Then we're going to take a trip to the radio tower. And then we'll be out. Then we'll, I'm sorry, not be out from the city. We'll call it a day. That's what I meant. Let's go ahead and heal up. We can heal up. Go ahead and heal up, guys. All right. And, and... As far as I know, as far as I remember, there's no opportunity to catch a Pokemon in Lavender Town at all. I'll do my research. I'll do my research, but I'm pretty sure there's no way for us to catch any Pokemon at all. No, or get any Pokemon at all in Lavender Town. This is the radio tower. This used to be the Pokemon Tower, where you would lay the souls of your Pokemon that have passed on to the other world uh, to rest. Uh, so, so whatever they did with the the souls, the bodies of the lost Pokemon, I hope it was hope it's respectful because we've lost plenty of members that have been buried here. Welcome, 
Feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. All right. Thank you. Many people are hard at work here in the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on good shows. Hey, if there's if this is the radio tower here, then we can check the radio stations here as well. Let's check them out real quick. It's Marion Oak in this kind of out of tune. Let's see if oop, I broke it. Okay, okay. We're gonna I'm a, Where is it? Where where where's the right spot? Where's the right spot? This is it? There we go. This is breaking news. A bunch of Arbok have decided to make an appearance. At Route 13. If you're a trainer who's really wanted to find Arbok, hurry over to Route 13. That's the end of the breaking news. All right. So they, they tell us where Pokemon have been sighted. Pokemon music is here. Oh, let's see if we can find it. I like to actually find it on the radio as opposed to press the shortcut buttons. Makes it feel like it's a real radio. For those of you who don't know, I used to do radio in, uh, in college. So... It's really interesting to be on the radio tower for me. Like that was one of the coolest things growing up when I played uh, this game. Like for like up to Goldenrod City in my free time, then it was like really cool. I was like, "Yo, they got they got radio. Are these all the same shows? Are they all the same shows? Why are we missing a channel? Why is it one not down here? I'm gonna go out. I'll probably be a boring. <laughs> I broke it." I broke it. Oh, no. All right. It's fixed. The problem is fixed. Okay. So she said we can explore anywhere on this floor. Ah, so you're the chill who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. So he gives us an expansion card. And our Poke Gear has been upgraded. With that thing, you can tune into even more radio programs here in Kanto. Yeah. All right, so let's let's try the radio again. Hopefully, oh, there we go. That's why I couldn't find the uh, the channel. Okay, so let's see if we can find more channels now. Pokemon Talk. I guess I can. It's actually got like a wider range over here. The Poke Flute. The Poke Flute is now on the radio. It's not an item to use. So you'll have your Poke Flute. You can this remember, remember, if you have music playing, if you're listening to the radio and you have music playing and you leave this, that music continues even when you leave the 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 Poke Gear option in the menu. So if we go here, if we go back up this way to the Poke Flute and we leave and we have Pokémon in our party that are sleeping, they'll wake up. They'll wake up. It's pretty cool. I mean, it's not as simple as just using the Poke Flute as an item, but it's pretty cool. This also wakes up other Pokemon in the area. You see, you see why why I came here. You see, do you see? I hope you see now. All right, uh, let's a little bit more radio play music. Let's see that town. These people. That's actually a pretty cool show. Not gonna lie, I like that show. All right, uh, that's that's pretty much all that it did. It gave us the the Poke Flute in the radio. Hey there, I'm the super music director. I'm responsible for the gorgeous melodies that go out over the air. Don't be square, grab your music off the air. Is that your is that your slogan? Do you say that? Let's see, I don't think we can go upstairs, can we? Sorry, but you can only tour the ground floor. Ever since Johto's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we had to we have had to step up our security. Alright. So we're not going to allow to go upstairs. That's really all I wanted to do. I wanted to come here to Lavender Town and get the expansion card because I know that's an item that we would need eventually. Uh, once I, like I said, I'm going to figure out who we're going to have on the team now that we have another vacancy. I'm, I'm once again sorry about that for the Victoria fan club. If you guys enjoyed this episode and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. And that's the subscribe button. And I'll do my best to make sure you guys can see more episodes of games like Pokemon Soul Silver, more challenges like Nuzlocke Runs, as well as everything else that Altplay has to offer. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay.